Hey, you're watching Bare Knuckle Binder. Welcome to the channel. Today we are tackling how to put the rear glass in a K or KB1 through 5 cab. All right, so this process is it's actually pretty straightforward. The one thing you gotta know is that there's a trick to it. It's not like the larger K and KB trucks in the D series where you could actually unscrew a, a, a basically a frame on the rear window and then just bolt it back together. This actually has a continuous seal. Uh, I got this from Restoration Specialties out of Windsor, Pennsylvania. Um, they've been my go-to for pretty much all my rubber pieces and. Uh, clips and stuff throughout the years and in their facility there they actually bond this together you can see that right so they bond that together so that's one continuous gasket and that's important you'll see why speak of our materials obviously we have a rubber gasket I have some replacement glass I haven't even opened it yet uh, my old glass actually when I was driving the old rubber gasket. Here's a piece of it. Uh, I've been watching this old rubber gasket uh, shrink and disintegrate for years while driving the truck around. And it finally gave up the ghost while I was driving it probably about a year ago. I managed to keep the glass intact for a long time, but eventually it cracked. So I used that glass, took it to a local glass shop had them cut this pattern. So here's our glass, here's our gasket, and now, as far as the trick is concerned, here's some weed eater string. Uh, if you have a shop manual for one of these trucks, it will tell you to use some uh, light wire. I think it says to use insulated wire. And you want something that's not going to damage this rubber. Because as you're gonna see, we have to, to, we have to put it in this rubber and then put some tension on it. And uh, weed eater string, which didn't exist when these trucks were made, actually fits the bill perfectly. The one thing that I, I don't have sitting out here that I actually need to go get before we start this process is dish soap. Uh, just the same as um, the very first video of this channel. Um, you'll see it up in the corner, I think. I'm good at editing. The thing about dish soap and rubber gaskets is that it's a great lubricant. It washes right off with water, but also oil eats rubber. So that's why dish soap is such a great, uh, basically lubricant when you start working this stuff together and then obviously it'll start to dry out a little bit and gets a little tacky. Uh, all these kind of turn into advantages for you. The first step to doing this is to get the glass and the rubber uh, together. You're gonna have two channels in this in this gasket. See, you got a thin one on the outside, flip around, you've got a thicker one on the inside. That said, you've got to run this around your piece of glass. So what I'm gonna do now is work the glass, this around the glass and into it. I don't know if I'm gonna need uh, dish soap for this, but we'll see. All right. Got the brakes and some stuff I'm putting together here. Extra light switch and stuff. This is all for that S160 4x4 that's in California uh, that we are fixing to drive all the way to Texas. I think in May. That's what it's looking like. But stay posted on that. Open this up. I haven't even seen this yet. Here's the old one. It's got my name on it and everything. Big old crack. So when I took it into the shop, I asked them to duplicate this just without the crack. Where is it? Oh, it's right there, okay. Got a little bit of, wherever that is right there, I'm gonna clean that off before we go any further because 
It's going to be partially behind the, the gasket when we get going on this, and it'll be impossible to clean that. So I'm going to just do that real quick. Okay, so putting this into the gasket. Now while you're doing this, <clears throat> one thing to keep in mind is that there's there's some grooves on the inside of this, so it's sometimes kind of easy not to get it all the way in, but you really got to get it just completely as far in that groove as you can. See, it's hard to do this while talking and trying to keep it on camera. This whole process of putting this on here, it's just taking your time. I swear I say that in every video, but it's true. I mean, you just take your time and you work it on there. Just basically go around it and make sure that it's absolutely seated all the way in on that, on this gasket. I'm wondering if I can. I like to do it by hand, but it's, yeah. It's kind of a chilly morning out here, so I'm just doing my best. This rubber doesn't want to work with me as much as it could, but we're getting there. Now it's feeling pretty well seated on here. I just want to go through because it doesn't look doesn't look totally even. You see how it's twisting here, and then it's up on the edge there. I just want to make sure that everything's as seated as I can make it. I'm excited to get this in the truck, obviously, but the thing is, that the extra time you'll spend doing this right now, you'll have a better end product. So take your time. Just make sure you get it get it perfect. You know, everything worth doing is worth overdoing. Or at least doing right. So she's looking pretty good. I'm gonna spend a couple more minutes just seating it in there. All right, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's uh, it's going pretty good. It's in there. I can't seem to get it seated any more than it is. So the next thing we do is the weed eater string. I start here on the bottom corner, and I'm gonna stuff this weed eater string into the gasket. Now you start at the bottom with it and you come out the top here. Now come around the other side with it. It'll just pull right into there. Any weed eater string you, you use probably will work fine, but if you're actually going out to buy weed eater string to do this, you want to get probably the thinnest one you can find. Then, of course, the shop manual, if you have one, you'll see that it says to cross them at the top here. So, I don't need all that excess. Just need enough to pull on. So the thought behind this is, as you set this up to the back of the cab, the window opening, we're gonna put our dish soap all along here so it slides out real easy. But you're pushing this up against the opening for the window. And as you pull these strings and pull it around, this lip 
see this slip here, the string will pull out of it. And as it does, in an area too small for your fingers to get in there, it's just going to spread that lip right over around the edge of the window opening. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool little trick. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so for this next step, we are in the truck and you need a helper for this. So I have my supermodel hot wife, Jess. So we have to put the window inside. Now I've gone through on the inside and I've lightly coated the rim of this with dish soap and I have it on the gasket as well. So this has to come up here. You have to make sure you have your, your strings here and she's got to push in on it as hard as she can up on the top there. We're going to start up there. As she's pushing, I'm going to pull this. So as you pull, you will lap it over the lip of this window frame. And you're just going to have to experiment with different pressure to where it works. All right, so now, this is just barely on here. Oh, yeah. yeah. So right now, inside the cab, we're looking at the gasket. The window is installed. Everything looks good. When we're looking at going around the entire gasket, you know, in my storage boxes in the back there, whatever. Going around the perimeter of this window, you see how it's even and consistent. And just like in the windshield video for the KB that we did, the split windshield, how that gasket, how it's even and consistent all the way around. So here on the outside, you can see the same. Now, when you are doing this, when the weed eater string comes out of here, when you're pulling the string out from this gasket to get it to flop over that lip, there's going to be times and places where it just looks like it's basically just setting on top of the metal lip. And there's also going to be places where the lip looks like it's just hung up and the string is not coming out right. In that situation, the best thing to do is to get possibly the same small screwdriver you would have used on the windshield in the windshield video and just get in there and kind of help the, uh, the rubber gasket flip over that lip until you can start pulling freely on the string again. Just to flip back real quick, in a lot of places around this lip, this gasket will be just sitting on it by the time you pull the string out. Uh, after that's done, you're still not done with the window. At that point, you come around back into the cab, and if your helper has really strong hands, or in my case, I had to come back and just give it a final shove, but you work your way around and really just push as hard as you can in on the gasket. At that point, the outside will flop over and you'll get this really clean final result. I hope that was helpful. Um, it's, a, it's not a difficult procedure, but it definitely takes some finesse. But it's not something that you can't master the first time you do it. Just take your time. And if this video helped you, feel free to drop a comment if you got some questions, if you got a better way to do it. In the meantime, like and subscribe if you're into doing that sort of thing. And I will see you in the next video.